I'm called Rory, uh, Rory Atwell, and I'm uh, in a bank of warm brains, and we're in my studio, which is called Palette Recording Studio, and which is in a place called Haggerston in London. I've always listened to music. I wasn't musical for a long time. I was sort of doing other stuff, messing about. My dad kind of forced me to like weird music when I was a kid, uh, which I, you know, which he didn't shackle me to. But it, from about nine, he was taking me to weird gigs and stuff like that. But I didn't really start playing music or playing guitar till I was about 17 or something like that. When I was younger, I kind of was tempted by instruments because they were always lying around, but I always felt really self-conscious of using them. Guitar style was probably influenced by maybe like Sebado, stuff like that, kind of, of that ilk. I was into lots of stuff from like Drag City and stuff like Royal Trucks and uh, maybe like Papa M and things like that. I kind of got into more like hardcore punk and stuff like that like, like when I was like, around 20. But generally, noisy guitar things. Obviously, I was playing in bands for years and stuff like that. And... None of them ever did particularly well, except for one. That's the kind of uh, test or whatever. We're always mentioning that one. Uh, uh, but that kind of, I didn't get. You know, we got a bit of an advance in that, and I think we didn't get loads of money or anything. But we kind of got like a kind of chunk and said, "Oh, you got to live off that for the next year or whatever." But I kind of sort of decided to use some of it to buy some equipment to record people because I wasn't really happy in that band anyway. So I was like, "What can I do to try and redeem myself while I'm in this band?" So I was sort of, I was kind of like, kept seeing all these kind of quite unusual bands that weren't really getting any time with people, no one really seemed that interested in, or weren't finding out about or whatever. So I thought, oh, okay, I'll buy some equipment and I'll record this more unusual band and then maybe put it out or give it to some people I know will like it who will put it out. So it kind of became, it was, it was more like a kind of weird hobby. And I used to record things in like basements of pubs and Kitchen. I definitely don't regret being in test high schools. It was, it was interesting. You started to think for it's more of a concept, like messing about, and you know, and you've written some alright songs that we did at the start. There were some alright ones when we started, and then everyone goes, "Oh, these these lot are exciting!" And then you kind of have that weird inside of you of how labels get when they get ex excited about something. We're all, all scrabbling to sign something. They're like kind of vermin, really. Through kind of basically recording good bands. You get other ba good bands coming to you because they want to be like those good bands, and the kind of whole thing escalates. So I don't know if it's anything to do with me kind of, you know, pulling any strings or trying to make something sound a certain way. It's just it's, it's an ever evolving thing. It just happens. I'm just I don't know. I think with music, with these music scenes, there's always people that come into a music scene, they get bored and do something else, and I just keep hanging about. So <laughs> I don't know if I'm like. I don't know how much influence I've got on it, but I'm, I'm, I'm always around. It, I think it's just, obviously when you play gigs around here and the bands are around, from around here and they all kind of gravitate towards the studio because it's the kind of closest, decent thing to them. And it's going to, and I, I record so much stuff that it's going to be quite a high percentage chance that the bands that we play with I've probably recorded or had some involved with at some point. My, my net is casting wider, but it has been kind of around a certain group of bands and a group a certain area. I get bands from like other parts of the country now recording, but it still is essentially kind of based around London and, this, and uh, bands of a certain ilk. Warm Brains was, wasn't really ever a kind of live idea. Because uh, I don't know, I kind of think of a live band as being just four mates who just make up a load of songs together and then go and do it. It's just a bit weird, like going from like making a whole record by yourself to like, oh, now I've got to try and play these in a way that sort of is like the record. Because I don't think they necessarily do sound like the record because like, we're kind of changing it up a little bit. With the musicians I chose in Warm Brains, so it wasn't, it wasn't like I had this big kind of, you know, this big list of people that I was choosing. Like that. But I guess, I guess having recorded a lot of people, you kind of you see a lot of people play and you see how they play and it was kind of important to sort of it's important to have people play with their own style. It's kind of a weird conflict between recording and live at the moment I think it's a bit it's kind of they kind of push and pull a little bit. I think the point of when I started it was I wasn't try, trying to sound like anything else but it's kind of become this kind of weird mishmash of bands I like <laughs> which is which is kind of good I suppose. I'd like to, to 
write some stuff or record some stuff with Jim O'Rourke or something like that, that'd be good. Like, I don't think that's really possible, because I don't know what he does anymore, he seems to be quite elusive. But as a producer and a musician, I aspire to be someone like him. So he's got quite a good output, of course it's really good stuff really well. You know, that's, that's quite rare, I think. Uh, I really like this band called Satellites of Love, at the moment. They're really good. Well, it just sort of sounds like they'd be... Uh, their, fun, their name's quite confusing, because obviously it's like a Lou Reed song. Um, but they sound nothing like that at all. They're sort of um, slightly gothic -y sounding, kind of hardcore, post-hardcore, maybe. But it's just, uh, we've got quite a bratty punk vocal. Like, really good guitar playing. Just, I just think they just, I don't know, they just sound incredible. Every now and again there was a band, like I was saying before, like when you start a band and you have like four people and it just makes some noise and it comes, it seems really natural.